Welcome back. A Mannington task force raised enough money to add one new member to its police force. Emily McNamara was there this morning. She has more on what the fundraiser was able to accomplish. The Mannington Bark Against Drug Task Force had a mission to raise $20,000 for a canine unit for the Mannington Police Department. In just two months of time, they reached that goal, and come the new year, Valor will be joining the squad. You know, we're not unlike other small communities around the state or around the country that have problems with drugs. Um, we have an elderly population, so there's a lot of reasons to have a canine unit in a community. The, the importance of what they're doing here, uh, it, it's, it's, it's hard to believe that they really put this together and all the hard work went into it. They set an awful lofty goal of $20,000 to try to, to raise in a small town. And we were very happy, the commission was, to, to help them out to finish it up the last $2,000, and uh, we're, we're just happy and proud to be part of the pro project. The search and rescue part of the drug dog, because uh, it's a multi-purpose dog, uh, you know, will help um, fugitive tracking down or for our fire department personnel, uh, you know, if an elderly person or a child would get lost, uh, you know, be able to have the resources to use the dog and, and to its full potential and doing stuff like that. I'm surprised I'm not standing here in a puddle of tears because it means a lot. It means a lot to this community to have this resource um, and to know that we did it in this little over 60 days that we said we were going to just makes me so proud of this town that they came together and really supported something that they saw was important. The last step of this process is to get whoever Valor's partner will be trained properly to work with the canine. But as soon as that is complete, they can officially welcome Valor to the Mannington community. Reporting for 12 News, I'm Emily McNamara.